Long Time Ago by Leslie Marmon Silco. Long time ago, in the beginning, there were no white people in this world. There was nothing European, and this world might have gone on like that, except for one thing, witchery. This world was already complete, even without white people. There was everything, including witchery. Then it happened. These witch people got together. Some came from far, far away, across oceans, across mountains. Some had slanty eyes, others had black skin. They all got together for a contest, the way people have baseball tournaments nowadays. Except this was a contest in dark things. So anyway, they all go together, witch people from all directions, witches from all the pueblos and all the tribes. They had Navajo witches there, some from Hopi, a few from Zuni. They were having a witches' conference, that's what it was, way up in the Lava Rock Hills, north of Cañocito. They got together to fool around in caves with their animal skins, fox, badger, bobcat, and wolf. They circled the fire. And on the fourth time, they jumped into that animal skin. But this time, it wasn't enough. And one of them, maybe Sue or some Eskimo, started showing off. This wasn't anything. Watch this. The contest started like that. Some of them lifted the lids of their big cooking pots, calling the rest of them over to take a look. Dead babies simmering in blood. Circles of skull cut away. All the brains sucked out. Witch medicine to dry and grind into powder for new victims. Others untied skin bundles of disgusting objects, dark flints, cinders from burning hogans, where the dead lay, whirls of skin, cut from fingertips, sliced from the penis end and clitoris tip. Finally, there was only one who hadn't shown off charms or powers. The witch stood in the shadows beyond the fire, no one ever knew where this witch came from, which tribe, or if it was a woman or a man. But the important thing was, this witch didn't show off any dark thunder charcoals or red ant hill beads. This one just told them to listen. What I have is a story. At first they all laughed, but this witch said, Okay, go ahead, laugh if you want to. But as I tell the story, it will begin to happen. Set in motion now. Set in motion now by our witchery to work for us. us. Caves across the ocean. In the caves of dark hills, white-skinned people like the belly of a fish covered with hair. Then they grow away from the earth. Then they grow away from the sun. Then they grow away from the plants and animals. They see no life. When they look, they only see only objects. The world is a dead thing for them. The trees and rivers are not alive. The mountains and stones are not alive. The deer and the bear are objects. They see no life. They fear. They fear the world. They destroy what they fear. They fear themselves. The wind will blow them across the ocean, thousands of them in giant boats, swarming like larvae, out of a crushed ant hill. They will carry objects which can shoot death faster than the eye can see. They will kill things they fear. All the animals, the people will starve. They will poison the water. They will spin the water away. There will be drought. The people will starve. They will fear what they see. They will fear the people. They will kill what they fear. Entire villages will be wiped out. They will slaughter whole tribes. Corpses for us. Blood for us. Killing, 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 killing. And those they do not kill will die anyway. At the destruction they see. At the loss. At the loss of the children. The loss will destroy the rest. Stolen rivers and mountains. The stolen land will eat their hearts and jerk their mouths from the mother. The people will starve. They will bring terrible diseases that people have never known. Entire tribes will die out, covered with festering sores, vomiting blood, corpses for our work. Set in motion now. Set in motion now by our witchery. Set in motion to work for us. 
They will take this world from ocean to ocean. They will turn on each other. They will destroy each other up here in, in these hills. They will find the rocks, rocks with veins of green and yellow and black. They will lay the final pattern with these rocks. They will lay it across the world and explode everything. Set in motion now. Set in motion to destroy, to kill. Objects to work for us. Objects to act for us. Performing the witchery for suffering, for torment, for the stillborn, the deformed, the sterile, the dead. Whirling, 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 whirling. Set into motion now. Set into motion. So the other witches said, okay, you win, you take the prize. But what you said just now isn't so funny. It, it doesn't sound so good. We're doing okay without that kind of thing. Take it back. Call that story back. But the witch just shook its head at the others in their stinking animal skins, furs, and feathers. It's already turned loose. It's already coming. It can't be called back. <laughs>